Associates who are at Davis Polk are very lucky. The firm it has a culture of uh, allowing people to do pro bono work, to do things outside of the corporate sphere, because I think it also makes you a more interesting person, and that always helps in any job. My name is Yasmin Hassan. I'm the Global Executive Director of Equality Now. Equality Now is an international human rights organization that's focused on the rights of women and girls. We focus on the laws and the legal system. We don't believe that that's the end all and be all for gender equality, but we feel that if laws treat men and women differently, then you cannot achieve gender equality. So it's an essential first step. We do strategic litigation in countries around the world where we feel precedents can be set to expedite legal change. And we work with community-based groups all over the world. We talk with them, we help them strategize, we take their issues and we bring it to the international level. We also work with media because raising awareness is essential to change legal paradigms. We are seen as global experts on issues of women's rights, so we have CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, and when you create a big uproar in the media, that's a huge step forward. We were formed about 24 years ago at a time when big human rights organizations did not feel that women's rights belonged in human rights. Domestic violence was just life female genital mutilation that affects about 3 million girls a year and child marriages that affect 38,000 girls a day were seen as matter of cultural practices. Sex tourism, sex trafficking were not even addressed as, as matters of international concern. We try to do a lot of cutting edge things and not things that other groups are already doing because we are quite small and so we have to be very, very strategic on how we use our resources and our time. I grew up in Pakistan. The defining moment in my life was in 1979 when we had a military dictator Islamicize the laws of Pakistan. This meant that women effectively became second-class citizens. When I came to undergraduate in the United States, I studied women's rights movements like globally and also looking at Islam and human rights. When I was at Harvard Law School, I figured out that as expected, it's not the religion, it's people's interpretations and the political use of religion that leads to all that. That first study I did while I was still at law school at Harvard, and it became Pakistan's official uh, submission to the Beijing Conference for Women. From that report on, we were able to make many changes. Now we even have a domestic violence law. One of the biggest challenges we have is the rise of fundamentalisms around the world. People are trying to take back women's rights, reproductive rights are suddenly under attack, but at the same time, there's so much opportunity. I think it's for the first time women and girls' rights have been seen as the defining issue of our time. A lot more media attention is being paid to this issue. I see a lot more corporations coming into the fray and being able to be bold about taking, you know, aggressive stands on gender equality. And also we have the sustainable development goals that just got passed last year at the United Nations, which for the first time have a goal on gender equality and women's rights are integrated throughout these goals. So yes, there are challenges, but I'm very, very hopeful. The biggest leadership lesson that I have learned is on active listening. Many leaders feel that they have to speak and make them their opinions be known, but I think you're much more effective if you sit and listen and really think about what you're hearing so that you can really respond with good faith and uh, you know, intelligence. When I was an associate at Davis Polk, they let me do about 20% of my time pro bono. I was able to bring Equality Now in as a client. We did our first report on sex discriminatory laws while I was loaned to Equality Now from, from Davis Polk. And even now that I'm at Equality Now full time, they do a host of pro bono work with us. Davis Polk has really helped us in all matters of running and nonprofit. Juggling family life and work life is always hard for women. I think your kids are best served when they have a happy mother. <laughs> and I think if you're in a career that really fulfills you and you are organized enough to juggle all this, I think you are in the best position. My two sons are actually thrilled that I work at Equality Now, and I'm thrilled you know, that I get to raise two feminist boys, right? So it's a great opportunity. But as they're growing up, they really appreciate having a mom who's been doing like, you know, cutting edge things that they can be proud of. So, you know, coming from my background, I feel now working at Equality Now, working for the rights of women around the world, particularly in the Middle East, my life mission is fulfilled.